<laughs> Welcome to Fuck Your Feelings, the greatest podcast to ever exist. Got it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. People don't always share. Um, phenomenal episode, man. I'm excited, man. Um, we got Malik B. How y'all doing? Thank you so much for having me. Oh, we- no, I just clapped. Okay. Myself every time I'm on something, <laughs> I feel like I come with a uh, applause break. So, God damn, come with a I like that. Uh, yeah, so I just figured, you know, even if it's me or somebody else, I'm just gonna clap. So I thank also you so can much. only come if there's an applause break. <laughs> <laughs> so, As I say, I want to feel celebrated and appreciated sometimes. That's yeah. it. Yeah. When I uh, have sex with my wife, I'm like, G- give yeah. it to me, applause break. Oh, uh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I need that in my life. Uh, Roxy Hayes. Hi. Which camera? It's like so many cameras. You talking Hi. to me. You ain't talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Michael, is, is shirt, sir? Shirt, sir. Yeah. Great job. Thank you so much. Graduated Magna Cum Laude, Parkland University. What can I say? Yeah. I'm a little intelligent. How y'all doing, man? Y'all good? Wonderful. Well, thank you. Well, man. Uh, this is a cool episode, man, because I don't know none of y'all that well. Mm-hmm. And typically, I have like people that I kind of know like kind of well or really well over here. But the point of this whole podcast is for me to like get to know people, man, and to build relationships and, and kick it with comedians that I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be honest, man. Malik. Yeah. And I see Malik kill in the comedy store in Thank the you. belly room. Appreciate that. A few months back, and and it was one of them nights where I was like, I was on some bullshit. I probably had just got in town, and I was tired, and they was putting me up late in the evening. And I'm on East Coast time. I remember that. And I see Malik go up and kill, and like, somebody else kill. It was one of them nights where everybody was killing, and I was like, oh no, this isn't gonna go. <laughs> this isn't gonna go well for me tonight. <laughs> but I was so impressed by you, bro, bro when you performed that. Now, how long you been doing stand up? Uh, this is my fifth year. Fifth year, man. Yeah, it's my fifth year. Yeah, thank y'all so much. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep clapping. Five years. Yeah, I was about to say that. Every time, you better clap for my achievements. Five years. I'm talking about like not the five years of. Oh, I took a break for a year. I just stopped now, like five years consistently. So that's a lot, you know what I mean? So I just figured, you know, you can get burned out with this, but you got to keep going. You got to keep going, yeah. man. Now you did Thank a great you. job that Thank night, bro. You. I was, right, bro. Bro, you had that good, cool set. Hey, you was working out on shit. You was like, oh, y'all ain't fucking with the new shit? I right, bet. Let me just do my <laughs> shit that I know works. And then you did it. And he was like, all right. He was like, I should have just started off. With that. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that'd be the worst for me when I'm trying to like work on new material. Yeah, they, um, they didn't want to hear that. They didn't want to hear my new shit that night. <laughs> they, they, they didn't fuck with. And then, like I said, I, I'll be traveling back and forth between here and Florida. So I'm always tired uh, when the later and later it gets. So I'll be like, man. That's a mean flight, too. It is a mean flight. It's five hours. Damn. You man. know, fresh off the plane to the st- comedy store. I've done that a, a few times. <sighs> yeah, a few times. And so, like, it's 11 o'clock here and then fucking two o'clock East Coast time or whatever. Yeah. What you about to say, Mike? Who doesn't love to go up at 1 30 a.m.? Exactly. <laughs> the energy is just right. It's <laughs> mystical. Well, I made them put me up. They had me perform at the improv in the lab the other night. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta go early. All right, they had me last, and I'm like, cut the shit. Like, I'm not that funny. Stop trying to put me last. Yeah, yeah. Stop trying. Even the show we just did together. Oh, yeah. They had me last. I was just telling Mike, every show that I be doing, they be trying to put me last. I'm like, I'm not that funny. You were funny. <laughs> His burden is that he's famous. It's That's a, what it is. It's Careful a problem. Up, you know you know I mean? Man, Roxy, where you from? I'm from Houston. Houston. Yeah, no, I'm from Houston. I love Houston. Yeah, I want it too. <laughs> yeah, my bad, my bad. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't been there in a minute. <laughs> nah, I, I love there. Houston. I miss it. I ain't gonna lie. Have you linked up with like any like celebrities from Houston? Like, have they become aware of you yet? Linked in what sense? Oh, like uh, work together. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, who you fucking? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? So yeah, I've been doing comedy ten years. Uh, yeah, it's my. Well, it'll be ten years in November. Ten years in November. Ten years. Yeah, that's yeah, a milestone. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, that's when you know you're getting it in. Getting yeah, hours I feel in. way better about comedy now than I did like two, three years ago. Oh, for sure. Like ten years is when, like, you so like if you bomb at ten years, it's it's by choice. Yeah, like you did that on purpose. You did that you know on purpose. The, you know how to turn the crowd at this point. You know, you know what to do. Exactly, Mike. You go by Michael. 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 Yeah. Oh, good. You go. I thought so, but yeah. I, I said maybe I'm gonna just shorten it up. Yeah. If you could spare the extra <laughs> syllable, you know what I mean. It's up to you. These claps. Where, and what? And you told me you from. So my New York. whole family is from New York, Brooklyn area, but I grew up out here in Los Angeles. Nice man. Yeah. How long you been doing stand up? About eight years. Eight years. That's a solid. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, so let me tell you why I messed with going Mike. going well. Thank you. Yeah. When I <laughs> when I first met Mike, um, everybody was saying how funny he was. 
Oh, so, thank you so much. They're right. Yeah, <laughs> no, but they they are though. He's yeah. been he's been funny. So, but every when I first met him, this was recently. But like everybody's like, "Yo, this is Michael. He he's funny." And then somebody else came up, and you know, Michael, he's funny. Then somebody else came up, like, you know, Michael, he's funny. So I'm like, there's three to four comedians yeah. all coming up Voucher. saying yeah. vouching for him. I was yeah. like, it must be something to him. So you know, appreciate that. Thank you for having me on. And then you killed it at the the storytelling. Yeah, that was funny. Bonfire stories with but, Kenan and Ice. Yeah, oh, that's Kenan a good Bacon. show. That's, that's a good show. Good. Yeah. yeah, man. So yeah, so I that's how all of y'all got here. I was like, I respect all of the shit that y'all doing. You I know, like that. you kind of like Thank bridging you. the gap. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like am bridging it. the gap. Yeah, like yeah, you gotta look at yourself like like that. Yeah, you know like what I'm saying. As like, I kind of see myself as like the middle child in comedy. You know, a less successful J. Cole. You know how J. Cole say he's the middle child in hip hop? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like he's kind of bridging between the old and the and the newer comedians. Mm-hmm. I mean, newer uh, artists. I kind of feel like that as a comedian because I like got my post on like who's coming up. And then I know it got my peer group. And then I can still go kick it with a Afian, a D-Ray, a Marlon Wayans or somebody like that. I like that. I like that analogy. But the wrong, the right message, wrong messenger. I don't think J. Cole is the middle child of rap. You don't think so? I think it should be Drake. Is a middle child? Why middle child of rap, like he bridging the gap between the OGs and the young artists. Like Drake, in that aspect, he can do a song or make, get on your song and blow it up, and we never heard of it. And then he can still do a song with Scarface or I mean, pull somebody too short. Like, Drake hey. is definitely texting a middle middle child, but I don't know <laughs> if uh, he's. He don't have middle, middle yeah. child energy. I get what you're saying, but that ain't middle child. Well, ain't middle child energy. Nah, think, that's that's oldest spoiled child energy. Man, right. I think I think I was just saying in terms of hip hop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. I feel like that whole generation. <laughs> I feel like that whole generation is middle child. Like I feel mm. like the Drakes and Meek Mill and Kendrick because they're all kind of like in the middle. <laughs> Hold on, one of them people don't. Don't go. No, one of these no, things. No, no, no. Not, not, you not. heard it. Yeah. I ain't know y'all gonna let him slide with no, that. No, 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 but no, no, you were this, quick. You know, this, I had to. No, I this, love hip hop. This is what I mean by that. I don't mean by their skill set or talent level. I just mean by they they know that they they're not as young as the younger artists, and they're not as old as the older upper artists. Upper twenties, mid thirties. Yeah, th- you're mid- not forty yet, but you yeah. Yeah, they're not LL Cool J, yeah. but they're not. Um, I don't he know. Looks great. Pooh he is. That's Pooh a beautiful man. He looks so good. Yeah. I hit. Who you still Spanish? Oh yeah. No. Uh, no. Okay. LL Cool J. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Hey, LL. LL. If you're watching, oh, what's, what's, hey. what's wrong with the seven point two six? I need it. Oh, Did you just gosh. recite pie? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's what they call him. Like, like, I, I smash this like shiesty too. I don't want that to be. He's a jail, ain't he? He's still in jail. Yeah, I mean, I mean I when he fresh when out. When he out, you know, yeah. maybe potentially. <laughs> I mean, like forty five. But let's get back to these. Let's get back to these Houston. <laughs> these Houston artists that you smash. No. Oh, <laughs> Trade the truth. I didn't say. No, I didn't say. Zero. I did. I just asked what you meant so, so, by link house. up. Mike five thousand. The whole house. You said you like to get <laughs> going from room to room. And you said you like to get it. I didn't say nothing. I just said, "What do you mean by linked up?" I was just asking oh, for clarity. Man. You say I'm in it. That's room way. service. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not not. I, just <laughs> hey, I to, never said. I'm, I'm here, here to deliver some that. pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kind of early, ain't you? <laughs> so I know y'all, y'all, y'all. What did y'all do to start like gaining y'all fan base on social media? Like, what was it? Mm-hmm. Was it sketches? Was it stand up? What was it? Oh me! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Skits, skits, skits for real, for real. Like just like doing skits and being consistent with them, and then I was like, oh shit! Like, bro, and I just wanted to make sure, like, I wanted to put out some shit that's not corny. Like, I be seeing shit up, like, man, I wouldn't do that. But if I put on some shit that's relatable, like in relationships and what I've been through with women, I'm like, man, this gonna hit. And man, it's been hitting. Yeah, yeah, it's been and, doing great, bro. Man, thank you, bro. For real, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that, Roxy. Well, yeah, what about, what about um, you? Sketches, I get so I'm I kind of do every I was doing everything kind of like at once, mm-hmm. so like music and sketches oh, and nice. stand up kind of all simultaneously. But my audience is super niche, it's like black nerds, so all mm-hmm. my stuff is like anime based or like 90s stuff, or like so it's kind of easier for me to create because mm-hmm. it's within the constraints of the shit I like. So, this is actually a question I had. Mm-hmm. Um, my daughter is into anime, and a part of me. Is a you sound ashamed. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you yeah. sound like it's about to be an intervention yeah, right like, now. You're like, listen, stop. listen, don't judge me. My daughter is into anime. Uh, we're considering our options. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, she, yeah, I gotta see your stand up.
bro. Oh, she's you. she's nine. Oh, let the baby watch anime. Here's my thing. <laughs> let me know if I'm wrong, though. You're wrong. Let me hear hear what I you don't know what I'm about to ask. I feel like deep down all women that mm -hmm. love anime are freaks. And so there's a part of me. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, tell mom. Tell <laughs> so you don't want your daughter yeah. to be, you think oh, her liking anime is going to make I don't know. Okay, so yeah. let me tell you why that's stupid. Tell because me. Because everybody a fucking freak. I don't think anime makes you a freak. Like, well, well, man, no, a freak. You, you got to stomp out the anime addiction. It's the only way to stop her from having sex. Yo, She'll she... never want to if she doesn't like anime. <laughs> we all know that. That's what did it. Go, yeah. go, go, go. I'm trying to figure out, like, what? What what did you come up with that that TikTok? Oh, okay, TikTok. get your ass off a of TikTok. But but here's a, <laughs> I'm maybe in it, into so therapy. I get why. <laughs> I was just about to come. I in. get why that that's okay. So it's not a I crazy mean, thought. Hentai, I mean, it's it's a lot of sexualization in it. It's stuff right. like that. But that's everything. There's sexualization in everything. Go look at old '90s cartoons we was watching. Like they had Dexter's mom's big ass booty showing all the time. Like. It was always hints of sex. She was dumb thick. Oh, she was you know, thick. No, you know thick for real, bro. She didn't have to be that thick. You know thick means incredible. Super thick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I'm saying, so like, hey. if, do y'all watch yeah. anime? Y'all not freaky? Like, shit. I don't think that that's what makes somebody freaky. Okay. Like, you can be freaky okay. and never watch Jessica watch anime. Rabbit? Jessica Rabbit? Thick as fuck. Come on. Like, and you, look at your I would ass. still you hit today, ass. Jessica Rabbit. You was today. talking about eating butt for 10 minutes on your set, and you yeah. don't watch anime, so I don't think that that's an anime thing. I did. I also <laughs> think that's a, that your kid gonna hate you. Truly. Like, <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I would talk about other people eating ass. I would talk about me. That ain't what ass. the joke sounded like. That ain't I, I was, was saying. Yeah. He was talking about eating butt. Yeah. But I don't think it's the anime. Vicarious <laughs> ass eater, <laughs> not a personal. <laughs> just, just threw somebody else. Osmosis ass eater. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. anime mind. See, she took it ass. Yeah. I was eating ass. I'm talking about somebody else eating yeah. my ass. Anyways, go. What you, what you about to say? My, oh. How you how you grew your how you started growing your fan base? Oh, it was a traditional comedic path of just talking about the occupation of Palestine. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I was gonna ask you about that because are you Palestinian? No, I'm Jewish and I'm anti-Zionist, which means I support Palestine. There's like eight of us. Um, we're wow. all in a group text. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of like Shabbat Shalom's fuck the occupation, stuff like that. <laughs> um, now with that though, how so you post like some of your content is like serious. It's talking about like real yeah. deal issues. Yeah. How important do you feel it is for you to use your platform to post real issues when you're a comedian? And do you ever feel like weird? Like maybe I shouldn't post this because I'm a comedian. I think initially, like there's a lot of Jews who are scared to speak out about what's happening in Palestine just because there are ramifications that come with it. But I think that, you know, I would feel bad I would feel worse about myself if I didn't say what was on my heart and on my mind, right? And that's what has connected me with people. And now it's like, I have people worldwide. I'm good pretty much anywhere I go. So, you know, it's been a good experience and there's also been some negativity. Like people send me death threats all the time. Oh, uh, somebody recently told me they were gonna cut out my tongue. And I was like, that's messed up. You guys know I love to eat pussy. Right? I like, saw that. I shared that clip actually. That's funny. That's, that's rude. That's rude. Now, wait a minute. You Take just, a pinky You or just said I'm like, good everywhere I go, and then you just said you get death threats. But yeah, I mean, as many people send me death threats, like I also have people offering to, you know, house me, feed me. I got a lot of marriage offers on the table. Mm. I'm like, we'll see how dinner goes first. You know what I mean? Like, let's see. I get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, weigh out your options first. Yeah, thank you so much. You ain't popping until you have some yeah. death threats. Thanks. Damn. It's also nice to just be thought of. You know what I mean? Like, we appreciate being on people's minds. The videos go viral. Like, we're happy. Mm. That's and funny. as long as, like, the message is being heard. And also, I think it's important to use comedy to talk about Palestine because it's so serious. Like, there's almost nobody doing jokes about it. I'm sort of like the John Stewart for Palestine. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think people need that type of relief because it's just like constant trauma, constant sadness. So you tried to like uh, apply for uh, the Daily Show yet? Uh, no, no, not yet. You no. got representation? Uh, no, but if you're looking, thank you so much. <laughs> hey, man, I'm that's crushing. What, that's what we're here for, man. Into the void at this moment. Y'all got representation yet? Uh, nah. what, how go oh, about? actually, that's a lie. I just got picked up by a college and um, cruise agent. Sorry, I'm just so used to saying that's no. <laughs> no, man. No. Congrats. Thank you so much. Congrats on that. So used to being underrepresented. I'm, to out <laughs> I'm an outclap. No, you're not. But I can outclap. <laughs> I started this clap shit, man. Well, are y'all in relationships? Any of y'all? Or no? Y'all don't want to talk about it? I, 
Nah, I'm not. I'm in a half, two half ships. Whoa. Two half <laughs> ships. You put put polyamorous? No. Oh, uh, what to do from Houston? N- nah. Uh, what? No, no, okay. not that. We broke up. Gotcha. <laughs> I just a- be talk. I be dating, but not exclusively. But once we're together, I'm monogamous. Damn. Okay. So. Women, right. women, man, women toxic. Sounds like it's, it's, it's toxic. toxic as Why you say that? Why it's you... not toxic. We communicate. They know they in it. I'm uh, not sneaking. Yeah, that, that's crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> what if I'm out here? Women be on tour, bro. That you gotta understand. Like, I'm happy just because they not in hey, relationship. Hey, that's my dog, right nah, here. bro. Like, <laughs> you said women like, stay on. Stay you said women like, be on. You ain't, you ain't even paying for the. Listen, women can pay. I, I, I got. You know what I'm saying? What, what are you talking about paying? I'm talking about like, bro. Women got it. I know a girl for real, for real. She had breakfast for with one dude, he paid. She had lunch for with another dude, he paid. And had dinner with another dude, yeah. he paid. That's called and an entrepreneur, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've gone on five, I've gone on eight dates in a day. You're dumb enough to be that guy. You went on eight dates in a day. Take that food. Who, who, who got the smash? One Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Bro, they go home. <laughs> the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah. Right. This, right. this is my guy. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. You, you went out with eight dudes. Did I fuck? No, no I fucked that day. I, I fucked that day. You. I did fuck that day. You I had to. The last dude. The last. We it's always the last one. It's always the <laughs> we last one. That day. Damn. But she probably knew the last dude the longest. Yeah. No. 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 I don't know. I was fucking. I was it was the latest. Yeah. <laughs> we either going <laughs> to sleep or we fucking. Yeah, we going to sleep or we fucking. Damn, but then it's just, but see, that's why women I be go. hearing about this. I be hearing my homeboys, they be talking about that. They be dating these women, and y'all just be dating them just to get free food. Y'all be going out with them just to get fed. It's, it's, it's nice time. to be here on the Andrew Tay podcast. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's cool. I Let's mean, go. it's not all the time though. So I be genuinely like them. <laughs> I fuck with it. Though. Yeah. I can like you and want some food. Have y'all never had a girl pay for your food? Like y'all sound like no, no, I, like, I have, I have, but I just yeah. like how. I like how, like honestly, I pay for women anyway. <laughs> I go out on dates like and sometimes women pay. You know what I mean? It's nice. You a get you a G though. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you so I, much. I think You're right. Yes. Because what I know, what, <laughs> what I what I know, <laughs> what I know about women is women <laughs> love a funny man. Yeah. And Thanks. if you and if you making them laugh, that's like ten thousand dollars for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're like, he making me laugh. He making me feel mm-hmm. good. I, so that's why they paying for your shit. Do you think men like? Actually- Funny women? It's actually the dick, but thank nah. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> men don't like funny women. I mean, it's cool. some men do. Yeah, a couple some of men women. are intimidated by it. Yeah, I will. I will say that. I, this, I is, this, that. Is, this is my this is my feeling on funny women. I think men love funny women. I think when a woman says she's fun funny, what that typically means is I'm gonna say something to like she's usually dissing the dude. Instead of <laughs> women just be roasting, yeah, it's like a be, mean roast it's a without mean, any like structure. It's a mean roast, and they're like, "Look, it's like, like, it's like no, that's why you're unemployed." You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then a woman will say, and then a woman will say, "Oh, well, guys don't like funny, funny women." It's like, no, no, no. He he wants you to be funny, but talk about other shit. Yeah. You don't gotta put him down. Like when a dude is being funny, he's not shitting on you. That's a lie. He's men also, will roast all, men. Men will come to me and be like, "I'm so funny," and be just firing me up. What you mean? That was roasting me. What's men, the best thing men, they ever said? It don't be funny. That's why yeah. I be mad. Like the only time it's mm. funny is if it's a comedian. Okay. Like oh, I had a girl tell me, "Stupid titty bitch." Like that's not funny. Mm. You just call me a bitch. <laughs> that was not funny. I mean, well, he been wanting to say that. He like, yeah, he like you just he did not like me. Yeah. You just didn't like he me. practiced that. Yeah, exactly. Like, as soon as, soon as she <laughs> asked for the joke. Yeah. <laughs> I had a girl tell me I looked like Edward Snowden if he went to ITT Tech. Oh shit! I was like, dang, <laughs> not even like a four year. I can't even like. UCLA or uh, but I, I see that as women flirting though typically yeah. right like when she's talking shit I thought it was a thousand percent yeah. yeah they flirt women know how to flirt man they, they don't mean, know how to flirt uh, they I just mean, roast what? your ass they That's roast your true. ass like when I was in when I first moved out to LA when I, I went to middle school out here I grew up out here and they was just women roast you and I was I was just playing nah then you wasn't playing <laughs> <laughs> you cute though they like, <laughs> I don't be playing I be roasting yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying I be meaning that shit I don't oh, shit. be roasting where, you from, where, where were you born? Louisiana. Oh, Louisiana. Mm. Oh, okay. Louisiana. I know, I'm getting to know y'all. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, yeah. I knew nothing. Feels like we're on a Tinder date. Yeah. I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> nothing before. Like he swiped yes on all of us? I yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, right. yeah, let me get them and talk. <laughs> we're a quad couple. Now. Yeah. We're a quad. Uh-huh. Put this Who shit on camera. Food? You are. Fuck you are. No. I got titties. <laughs> I actually, I brought, brought food. food. So oh, yeah. I paid yeah. See? See? He's a good man. Thank you so much. I didn't know you was going to be on the podcast. 
Oh, he uh, sent a text. You know, yeah. you know what? So uh, the initial text I put for them was Chris. Mm -hmm. So you uh, like Chris, Chris and Chris. I was damn sure was I gonna pay for Chris Gardner. <laughs> Chris Gardner. Uh, yeah, yeah, see. but Chris is actually doing it tomorrow. Yeah. So by the time I text you, I realized, and then I was like, so oh. he lied. To Strike us. that from the record. <laughs> yeah. I had, I had this information. Yeah. So, so you was right. Hey, so let me ask you this: um, toxicity. <laughs> I'm, I'm only asking because I'm trying to get to know. On your profile, it says, uh, "I'm pro I promise I'm not toxic. I'm not. Have you been accused of being toxic? You look toxic. Damn, I'm bro. Sorry, I'm sorry. Dog, well, if you have to preempt, I'm not toxic. <laughs> right. That's not you look great, toxic bro. as hell. As a Jew, I'm going to give you some legal advice. Uh, don't yeah. do that. Side note, I want to let you know before you answer that question. The reason he keeps talking about his dick, Jewish men are known for having big penises. Yes. Yeah, and they cut some I off. Heard, so imagine I if heard. they didn't. You know what I mean? <laughs> imagine if I, I mean, had that full... The full. You, have, you never yeah. fucked a Jew? Huh? Hey, have you never... <laughs> <laughs> she was like, that's what I heard. I heard that should be... So, that should be in my gut. Somebody yeah. went, hold on. Well, shalom, you feel me? <laughs> shalom. Yes. Shalom. She, shalom. she fucked the Jewish dude while, while watching Sailor Moon. Oh, wow. <laughs> Brought it back to anime. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He wrote the show. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and the soundtrack. And the soundtrack. He, yeah. wrote the he wrote the show. That's funny. Lady. Yeah. The contracts are favorable. Thank you so much. <laughs> Toxicity. I'm not toxic, I think. Why do women think you're toxic? You sound like the mayor of East Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, man. I don't know. Women just see a certain they they can they pre they prejudge. It was like I'm not gonna judge anything, but it was like you toxic. Cause it looked like I'm um, you know, I mean women, I look like I'll ruin your life and I'm not. So I had to put that out as a disclaimer. I promise I'm not toxic. Cause every woman we don't every, believe you. Guys, you got Tyler Perry villain energy. Oh, you just look <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Like, what's, like, daddy, Ooh. little girls, or no, like, no. like, why did I get married? Yeah, like, why did, why I, did I, get I get married? Like, like sad bitch. And, yeah, that one. Yeah, that you. one. That's like, the yeah, one. Yeah, okay. That's the end. It's how you sit in your arms. Folded. What you the mean? body language. The body language? We sitting the same. Yeah, I'm toxic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you talk, you talk. Okay, guys. Look at Smug. Why am I sitting I'm like not this? Toxic. I'm this is couch, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it is kind of low. I had. Is this a full time? Because I had a girl, like, uh had something like this. It is a full time. Are you, remi are you reminiscing? <laughs> I'm reminiscing about one of a little bit. He's, like, yeah, he's not toxic, ladies. He's just <laughs> any on the full time. Any yeah, will break him into a nostalgic <laughs> rant about pussy. Oh my god! Damn. <laughs> yeah, I remember this feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Why well, am I sitting, sitting like that? Because I'm the full time. I'm gonna sit better. What's, <laughs> what's the worst thing y'all have had sex on? The Ooh, worst thing? A pallet. A pallet. You was fucking on a. What you was at? Walmart. <laughs> 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 Home <laughs> Depot type of thing. I bet you did. I bet you was pal. Pal on the floor at okay. Walmart at the break room. <laughs> come on, nobody go. Come on. Oh, he was on the pallet. I know where the camera's not gonna be looking. <laughs> I fucked on the pallet. Uh, Where at though? Where's this pallet? It was it was in like this is like in Louisiana, and I was like right before I left. I was like, <laughs> man, I was in this little trap house. Before I, was, I go. Before I go, yeah. <laughs> One for the road. One for the road, man. <laughs> On the road again. I'm going to remember this. <laughs> yeah, I was, that was the worst. I was like, I never again will I, I put my dick through that ever again. So I was like, nah, nah. That was the worst. And I just changed my life around. You sound like you fucked the pallet. <laughs> <laughs> I will Quickly never put shit. my dick through that again. <laughs> Fuck the hole through that pallet. That pallet? <laughs> that pallet didn't deserve that shit. Yeah. That's the worst. What the, you, what you, what the worst? Yeah. The worst experience or the worst? Nah, where you fucked at? Yeah, the worst place you you. It was okay. The sex was great, okay. but in hindsight, that's not the question. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Question. Like, wow. but, that, but it was bad. It. Like, I shouldn't have fucked there. Is yeah. that the end? No, answer? where did you? The worst we place. Why are you avoiding <laughs> the question? Because <laughs> we fucked at an alligator park. Okay, this is absurd. And then, uh, <laughs> we fucked on a bench in an alligator park, and the sex was great. But like on a what? In it, so it, in Houston, it's like a it's like Brazos or some shit like that, and it's like alligators be walking around. Like it's yeah. a swamp kind of. Was thing. you at night? That turns you no, on. <laughs> Oh, I see an alligator running he around. He said, and that's why I don't want my daughter watching anime. anime. <laughs> right. You got to write. You got to You got to you, know what Listen, you have to protect the children <laughs> from anime and alligators. I'm and, mad as hell, my, my daughter gets true. smashed in a swamp. Nigga, swamp. Uh, I raised you better than that shit. That's that Duck Dynasty, dude. <laughs> 
Uh, all because of Dragon Ball Z. All because because you wanted to see who the fuck is Super Saiyan. That's, <laughs> that's what we call a Hadouken. <laughs> but the sex was great. I'm pretty sure it was. It was what the H- Hadouks of Hazard. Was- <laughs> Hadouks of Hazard. It was good. You got to be a dirty motherfucker. <laughs> We to take fucking... the chick, yeah, like, hey, this no, right No, he here. was going on a picnic. Sounds Hell romantic, no. dog. Like, it was yeah. like he was going race. on a picnic. Race, what was his race? He was black. Black, okay. He, nah, you know he's he was a black tattoo dude. artist, <laughs> and we used dude. to just do, we used to just be fucking, and we, like, we would go fuck on the roof of hotels, and we would just, we was just fucking. Oh, you live but, life. I mean, yeah, we was fucking at gazebos. On the roof, just because yeah. it's, like, a it better nice, view? But no, like... yeah, I was bent over to... <laughs> <laughs> hey, just, just for clarification, I like how you said it's so casual. Like I should just obviously know. I was bent over the top of the roof. Like, oh, it that sounds scary, dangerous. Was, yeah, nah, you got to do doggy what every Neo? Every, like, every like a, the bench, the fucking roller coaster. You got to do doggy. You got to yeah. bend her over because if something happens, she fall first. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm not toxic. Kill the bitch. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Whoa. Feed her to the gator. Don't tell my other girlfriend I was there. <laughs> but the alligator park was fun. Yes, okay, it was cool. fun. Yeah, I'll put that on my to-do list. The, <laughs> the alligator park. What about you, Michael? In a library. You see the glasses. Ooh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to do that. I want to do that so bad. I'm trying to find a library to fuck yeah. it. Nice. <laughs> you gonna wow. try to find? You gonna go I've been Google Maps? I got a Beauty and the Beast like fantasy. I want to fucking. Yeah. She's what, calling what, me what, a beast. I think <laughs> so. I am carnal. What Thank library? You so much. What going on? I'd rather not say. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to still go back and use the library. Text it, text it to me later. Yeah, Do people days. still go to libraries? <laughs> Fuck you. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, huh? I owe them books. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I you never owe them. My card. Hey, what book do you have checked out right now? It was a long one, bro. The uh, fuck, I can't even remember. Uh, War and Peace. No, nah, it's not War and <laughs> Peace. It was like uh, this old boxer. He grew up in like the uh, Jack Johnson. Uh, nah, bro, it's a white. It's a made. It's, oh, the Power of One. Oh, okay. The Power of One. Nice. Yes. Is it? Is it L. A. Sounds tough. Nah, nah, nah. It was. Nah, it was like a Jew. It was like it, you would love this uh, yeah? joke. Yeah. I mean, but joke. But, <laughs> this joke. Because <laughs> he was a boxer and he grew up in this concentration camp. And, mm. um, Damn. And it was picky. You'd love this. You're Jewish. You're <laughs> fucking, yeah. You love Fight concentration yeah. camps yeah. and stuff. That's, you got, that's your thing, right? That's your thing. Uh, hey, happy Black good. History Month. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> nah, the power of one is what I just checked power out. Of yeah. One. <laughs> I'm gonna check it it's out. actually written by a Nazi. It's actually, <laughs> oh, <shit>. check it out. <laughs> I go to the library. You know what? Since you're Jewish, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are, do you get tired? Because I was, so I'm gonna preface this with me as a black person. I get tired sometimes of seeing like slave movies. Sure. Oh, I get tired yeah. of seeing a maid. Yeah. And, but mm-hmm. as a Jewish person, do you get tired of seeing like Holocaust movies? Or yeah, okay, absolutely. It's like they try and pimp out our trauma, and mm-hmm. it's uh, they do it for like an emotional reason to like manipulate people to justify the occupation of Palestine. Mm-hmm. And so it's like it's very disgusting. It's not what the holo- like Holocaust survivors are not happy that they're now oppressing people in the name of the Holocaust, right? Mm. So it does a disservice to our ancestors uh, when you sort of just like are a tragedy pimp for the Holocaust without really realizing like there are human rights abuses happening right now and we could be taking care of those. Mm. Bars. Mm. Bars. Thank you so much. I'm also a slam poet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. You can snap for that. You can snap for Ooh, that. Oh, I do like so a much. snap. Yeah, because I just watched The Woman King, and um, great movie. And it was it was a great movie. Damn, John Boyega. I'm sorry. He did a great job. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. did a great job. Mm-hmm. He's a really good actor. I knew he was a really good actor, but I mean, just how like casual he would throw away the lines. <laughs> Don't whisper it. Let him hear it. I'm trying to know. fuck John Boyega. <laughs> okay. She but said, you know, <laughs> see, women do this shit. But if he showed up right now, it's like, she would fuck. Yo, yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Her energy for sure. Yeah. Okay. I, I think saying. she would fuck. I've been smoking too. Oh, she did her makeup. Like she looks great. She is trying to fuck. You know yes, I'm trying mean? to fuck. Now I know yeah. his. I know his assistant. Call her. Oh wow. I'm trying to John Boyega. I would like to How'd take you, know you out a on her? a date. <laughs> <laughs> we could go. I don't want to hang who out with John Boyega. Who paying for the date? If John Boyega, tra- I, I would pay for John Boyega. Okay. I would pay. The one I'll nigga that don't need your money. Exactly, and that's why. That's really how it is. Me Once everything starts going percent. good, yeah. a lot of free shit coming out. No, hell yeah. But it's about the movie. I'm so sorry. But um, great. Make movie. that happen. Make that happen. Shout out John Boyega. 
Uh, Roxy is trying to. Hey, we actually all just assembled here today to get Roxy late. <laughs> please, uh... please, I miss Valentine's Malik, Day. Malik, do you have any space on the roster? All right. Nah, man. <laughs> no, so, no disrespect. Nah, I, I don't nah, be fucking. I don't be fucking like Malik. that, Roxy. I don't be fucking. I, who said I wanted to fuck? I said I wanted food. <laughs> With who? That's, whoever got food? Oh, but John Boyega. You oh, I love that. you. <laughs> John Boy. Anyway, okay, so I'm, Woman King, yes, you were saying. Great movie. Woman King, man. Great movie. But I was hesitant <laughs> to watch it at first because I'm like, I'm so tired of yeah. watching slave type movies. I don't want to see black people in, in chains. I don't want to see none of that. Yeah. But mm-hmm. then when I start, because I'm from Florida. And so with the new legislation, I ain't really into politics either. But when mm-hmm. I'm hearing about how they don't want, you know, they're, they're uh, taking certain books out of the school. African-American mm-hmm. studies. Yeah, African-American mm-hmm. studies and all that type of stuff like that. I'm like, well, now I'm starting to understand the importance of why these films need to be made. Mm-hmm. Because they're literally trying to erase our history yeah. and try to make it seem like none of that shit ever happened. You know, and it's like, well, no. So now I'm like, now I'm like, well, shit, I guess we need to have these movies out there just so our history is not forgotten. But how y'all feel about it, though? I feel like those Republican like senators who hate critical race theory, they view it the same way that they view pussy, right? Where they're like, I've never actually looked into it. I don't know <laughs> what it is, but people get mad when I vote on it. That's hilarious. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of like in between. I'm, I'm teetering in the middle because yeah. at the same time, a book, what, 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 like you said earlier, he was like, these don't read. And they put what's the most powerful, important message is in, in a book, right? As opposed to a movie, you know, he could have wrote that and how he thought stuff went. So it's like, nah, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm in between with the shit. I know right. Roots was real. I got tired of seeing Roots. So I was like, man, Roots is a Yeah, because you said, you basically saying like at the end of the day, somebody writing a story. It's not, it's a, story. It's not a documentary, it's, it's so not, we don't know how factual it no, is. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. it can, they could put stuff in there. You really be like, oh, shit. That, and it's not. So I just think that I I I I want people to just educate themselves and just be like, yo, a book is rarely where you know all the information you, you know what I mean can be. In. Like, J- oh, Django really killed all the white people. Yeah, shit, yeah. <laughs> Man, Man, out- Samuel Jackson was really that yeah. shit. He really didn't want niggas on the net. Right. <laughs> Inglorious Bastards. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. You love that movie. I do like that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Any movie where Nazis are getting hunted, pretty good. Well, that's uh, what I was about to say, because as a black man, Django and Woman King, yeah. they're slaughtering like white people <laughs> at yeah. the end of that movie. Yeah. But you, as a black person, you want to see that because it's happening to fucking slave owners. So mm-hmm. like, we're like, well, yeah, man, fuck them. You know? Mm-hmm. But it's, it is a movie. It's cathartic, right? It's nice yeah. to see the person who's a villain in your real life come to justice, even if it's just fictional. Yeah. 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 Because it's like justice doesn't really happen in real life a lot. And so a lot of the ways that we express our hopes and it's desires through are through art. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn. You feel that way? Justice don't really. I'm thinking about that. Do justice Not really, really happen? Nah. Not really. Do you feel that way? I mean, you guys are black in America. You know, so. <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah, I'm I'm really thinking about that, and I I don't I I guess proportionally, the answer would be no. Like like we start talking t- about proportional justice. You know what I mean? Like we're all already cutting justice right. into pieces. We're stomping on justice. It's a lesser version of justice. Less, yeah. So like, I mean, step on it. The fiends will still have it. Like <laughs> on some like. I mean, yeah. The wire shit. Damn. I, I mean, I love the wire. Yeah. Too. The I wire started was it. watching it. You started yeah. watching. Yeah, because I was I don't like people watching people get shot and stuff like that. Man, so, you know what's so crazy? I just started watching. It's really good though. You you, you ever be watching like power and then like I stopped be, watching it. Oh no mind. I know what happens though. Uh-huh. But I, I continue with, with We listening. Not. Oh, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> it's just like okay, like when is it be like we be nine, like when they be killing us, that shit like okay, we 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 programmed it used to seeing dudes die on the screen. So when mm-hmm. you see people die in real life, you be like, yeah. man, yeah, are we just numb. Like, it's called priming. It's priming, a, yeah. like a psychological tool exactly. that yeah. like, people use in order exactly. to prepare people for real life mm-hmm. events. Thank you. So when yeah. Takeoff dies or passed away, and we be like, oh, we saw him die in real life, and we like kind of like fucking get, get numb to it. We yeah. like, oh, RRP, we listen to his music for a couple of days, right. and then we're going on to the next Creshawn and Blueface kind of drama. So it's just like we're, we're just so numb to mm-hmm. black people dying because we see it on TV. We see it in real life. And that's not how we should be programmed and shit like that. That's why I was like, man, I'm I'm done watching BMF and Power and shit like that because it's just like, yo, you just plays into the I won't say stereotype, but at the same time, it's just like when you look at it differently, like, mm-hmm. come on, my nigga. 
Nah, I mean, I think you make a great point. I'm, I feel you. Shout out to Snowfall. It comes on whenever. Uh, <laughs> you on Snowfall? Nah. And <laughs> hey, people, I ain't trying to like, man, I'm going to still watch it. Nah, it's just like. I will say that's why anime, I'm throwing it back out there, is great. It's not real people. I know these aren't real people. There's a certain yeah. disconnect that I can have yeah. watching this type of violence versus like literally watching somebody get now, shot. Which yeah, episode... but it makes you horny, so yeah, no, it's no yeah. good. It depends on who it is. <laughs> I was gonna say, it makes which... you want to fuck John Boyega. <laughs> I, like, I love her so much. <laughs> look, I can't, look how free spirit she is. That's what everybody <laughs> yeah. And I'm over here just like, oh, it's yeah. So watching. angry. <laughs> What's your sign? Who, me? Yeah. I just, I just found out to say I'm Capricorn. Sun, Leo rising, the Cancer fuck? moon. Uh, you got how you get three signs? You you do your natal chart. Your natal uh, chart. Wait, 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 yes, no, nah, I'm not a NATO fan. <laughs> They're causing <laughs> a lot of drama in the Ukraine. I don't really like I it. The link. What is? I don't even know. It's, it's like shit. the time you were born, where you were born, the location, and like. like if anybody ever asked you for that information, you should run. That's not. <laughs> do what you say. I thought you were just gonna be like Aries, but yeah, no. that's what I said. That's why Capricorn. Capricorn. So the main one is the Capricorn. main one's Capricorn. After I started reading, because I'm not super big into astrology, but after I started, I got a whole lot of friends that are super into it. So after I did my natal chart thing, because it's like a whole breakdown, and it was like some real shit in the whole thing. It was like you got issues with your mom. I was like, how is that in the fucking chart? Like her it natal was, chart said she crazy. had to invade Russia. <laughs> natal. <laughs> I I know, I'm just going to keep making the same joke until you guys acknowledge it. <laughs> <I got Fatal. laughs> but it's dope. How, how, how accurate? It's pretty fucking accurate. So, like, you know, Capricorn is like, we work hard and we do all of that stuff. I'm Technically, a, I'm, I'm a, on I'm the a, cusp. I'm a Capricorn. So, there we go. Yeah. So, you know, well, work, when your you're birthday, born, December 23rd. December 23rd. Uh, 23rd? I'm a 23rd. So, like, so I'm technically on the cusp. Uh, my wife is on Christmas. Cusp. Oh, so she's a Capricorn. She's a Capricorn. Yeah. Nice. She do her natal chart. But, like, she, I she have more. Do her natal chart. Sagittarius. That's what they property, tell. Yeah, a girl told right? me that. Yeah. So you should do your natal chart because that is the Leo rising part, which is like the lion. So it's the outgoingness and the Rawr. boisterous. Nah, but then I'm the not. cancer nah, is like on. sensitive. I'm sensitive. And be crying. So yeah, but nah, I'm a that bitch. you can have a totally different rising. You don't know yeah. what your rising is, so you do your chart. So See, it's super I, interesting. I, I am a cancer. That shit is pretty. You be crying with me. and you be sad, you be emotional, and people be hurting your feelings. <sighs> I cry when girls about to leave me. You cry when girls about to leave. I've cried over my ex. Toxic. Hey, hold on, no, no, hey, no, 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 it's not. I don't want you to go. No, I don't. I don't want you to go. Why are you leaving? It could be leaving. Yeah, yeah, we're going. What the fuck is going on? We're bonding. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? We're leaving here, best friends. It's so funny. I don't know. They left us. They left us. Just in part of the fire. Connecting the comedy community. <laughs> they, they left us like 30 minutes ago. They up there. Yeah. We kept looking at it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for real, but for oh, real that's, a good, that's a good question. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's a good <laughs> question, though. At what Why point, are they running? At what oh, point do y'all start to look at y'all selves <laughs> and say, what am I doing? <laughs> wait, wait. That's not the point. Uh, the point. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you said, what point? What point? Accountability? I don't like that. <laughs> no, oh, that sounds icky. That's, <laughs> that's what you got away from me. Cry? You said at what point we got to start looking in the mirror? No, I don't even. I was like, I don't even own a mirror. What is that? I just rely on other people to tell me I'm pretty. Like immediately, every time, every but, time something happens, you should debrief with yourself. You like, should. How could I have fixed this or changed this? Yeah, or nah, what I really should. Could yeah. I That's very helpful. I take accountability. I give it like a week or so. Yeah, and then I, I think about it. Well, I, I say that about anybody that gets married twice like it, I, uh, oh well yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know the good thing is this is the first episode in like three weeks okay so cool. anything uh, died off by now uh, um but this this is no no i'm no, serious so but this john is, boyega's out <laughs> I, 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 to do it. well i say that about anybody that's getting married which is if you get married the second time if you get divorced twice you now have to look at yourself Be, the first time i get it you might have need to learn some things. Do you golf? Because that's like a mulligan. That's pretty nice. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, oh nah, I don't. But yeah, but after that second time, it's like, all right, I got to start looking at myself and, and mm -hmm. see what what am I doing and how am I reacting to certain things? What's my response to certain things um, to to not in, mm -hmm. you know, to make sure that this relationship keeps going and it doesn't end in well failure. Yeah. Are y'all are y'all ever do y'all believe in marriage? Would y'all ever get married? Yeah, I was engaged uh -huh. a couple of years ago. Uh -oh. So who ate niggas that took you <laughs> out <laughs> to dinner? <laughs> yeah, <you see. laughs> 
I was so bad on this episode. <laughs> no, you don't. No, but you, yeah, no. You're gonna get many suitors. <laughs> John Boyega. Yeah. Oh, I love him. Stop. Don't say it. Oh, I'm sending the clip to him. Please. No, no, no. Yeah. Wait. Send some pictures. I'll send you some pictures to send. You don't want him to see the footage of you saying you trying to smash? Cut the footage up and then insert my picture. Hey, send okay. him my best joke. Yeah, okay. uh, <laughs> send I got him. some fire. I do got yeah. some heat. But yeah, I believe in marriage. I wouldn't get married. I I've already told myself I'm not getting married till my daughter graduates, which isn't like four years. She's 14. So I don't want How old are you? I'm how old am I? You don't oh, have to, shit. You don't have to say you don't no, have to no, say. I literally forgot. 34. You thought oh, you look you look great. Because yeah, I was thinking, I was like, you I don't I couldn't tell if you were in your twenties or early thirties. Oh, I couldn't tell. Thank you. I'd I be working so hard. No, you look great. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh I try. No. <laughs> this is a great Is this podcast. all about her? We can say something nice about me. No, no, we're no. friends. Don't mess up the friendship. How do you, Mike? I'm 33. Oh, you look beautiful. No, it's okay. hurtful. You're too bad. <laughs> That's too bad. She overacted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't believe We you. had something going. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> marriage would y'all get married yeah i would get married yeah yeah i don't know i don't think so no. yeah yeah because you're toxic, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not toxic <laughs> no, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. i just want a lot of kids i don't want i keep the marriage I just want baby girl i'm not trying to get married i'm not toxic, <laughs> nah. toxic. i'm just saying if don't i don't post get married, me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling my girl i'm in there <laughs> No, Listen, no post, not chill, chill. Who is that? <laughs> Colin. It's my girl. It's my mom. It's my. <laughs> but I'm saying, what is the benefits of getting married, though? Um, companionship, a partner, someone who loves you. 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 you get that without the ring. Yeah, but then health. Like when you, if something happened to you, that person has power of attorney. We're just talking legally and just having knowing that that person wants to be there. Yeah, we can do. That it's without. a type of commitment. Have you ever gotten a blowjob by a woman who actually loves you? You know what I mean? It's amazing. It's different. Yeah, it's but. Completely. Yeah, but but guess what? It... I've gotten a blowjob by somebody that didn't love me, and it was also phenomenal. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so a good point. We, yeah, counterpoint. Exactly. We call that a counterpoint. Yeah, if somebody <laughs> loves giving head, they love giving head. Yeah. They're gonna, they're, 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 you're and gonna they're gonna they, they can hate your guts while they doing it, but at the same that time, that could be a wife though. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, as a person that got a kid though, I would not him because he's a piece of shit. But I would have. It would have been a just completely different experience raising a child. In Together. a marriage, yeah. yeah, in a marriage yeah. situation. Yeah. That's true. I think that would have been way better. Well, I know it would have been way better. Not with him though. <sighs> Terrible person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm married. I would never get married again. Yeah. So but this, this, this is the last time. This is it. I've only been married one time, but this is it. But if this doesn't work yeah. for whatever reason, that's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> Gotcha. Because, but I do know also you still need a partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not saying you, I'm not trying to have a partner. Yeah, I get you. I'm just saying I don't want the government in my. Business. I feel you because I know. Let's say we don't work out that divorce and all. It's just get messy and all that. Like I don't want to hate anybody, but at the same time, if I want to love you, you my partner, you my ride or die. I want to be together without like getting. We can get married in the backyard. We can have a wedding you want, but we don't really have to get. You Is know, California sign common law. They do have uh, a common law. Yeah. Yeah. So if you stand with her either way by law, they say that, but that's that on seven years. I don't know, seven years. Oh, seven yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. In, yeah. in Texas, it is one year. A oh, one year. Oh, they trying one to get. Year. Yeah, they. <laughs> I think they yeah. might have changed it, but it's yeah, it's one. Year. I didn't been married a couple times just because we lived together. Oh yeah, nah, it's different out here. But I'm just saying, it's mm -hmm. like why we can't just like you but know. What's your aversion to it? You just think she's gonna take half your stuff? Nah, it's just like I, I if, if I marry you, she takes the top of your sweatshirt, <laughs> <laughs> your sweatsuit. <laughs> Oh, you, don't have, you, take yeah. have. you take the pants. I told you you take the pants. <laughs> but why, why, why is Nick? I, I like the, I like the way how Nick Cannon and NBA Young Boy is just like that's. Yeah, I I want to have a lot of kids. That's what you like. See, nah, that's a misconception. Have you been reading some? LA is actually not common, law, not common law, but everyone Wait, thinks what? it's common law. Yeah. It's not common law. No, I but, can see that because a lot of it's a lot of money out here. I look, bro, because I just looked it up. But I remember I was looking that shit up one day for whatever reason because everyone always says LA is common law. Mm -hmm. But I, I when I look it up, it says it's not. It's actually not a common law state. Mm -hmm. It's most. Uh, well, I thought that was city I'm or state? California because LA is a city. Well, yeah, California. Like California, it says California is a common law state. No, it's not a common law state. Hmm. Really? It says there is no common law marriage in the state of California, and that's hmm. including Los Angeles. This means that Whoa. if two people live together, there is no statute that confers the rights of married couples upon them. I was able to apply for common law status with my ex girlfriend, and out here, yeah, and that's how we moved to Canada during the pandemic together. Hmm. 
So yeah. I know there's at least some form of common law. Oh, available. maybe they don't enforce it because, like in Texas, yeah. it's like if y'all live mm. together for a year and something happens, yeah. then they're like, nah, y'all, y'all were living as man but and like, wife. But maybe I guess if you that was when like fly for it, all the borders and everything were closed. Mm. But it was a show for Disney, so it's like, dude, oh, you could get into Gaza. If Disney's <laughs> on your side. <laughs> <laughs> That's very interesting. Maybe Google just don't know what the fuck it's talking about. Could be. Mm. I mean. I, yeah, I mean, maybe you can apply, but it's not in, like enforced. Is yeah, what I'm saying. I mean, it's like don't ask, don't tell in the military. Yeah. You know? Interesting. I would. This is what I would do. I would have a chick that's bisexual. I think Lil, I just heard Lil Duval on Shannon Sharp podcast. That's what him and his lady, him and his lady, both like chicks. Yeah, that's a good situation. They go get chicks together, mm-hmm. so it's not cheating because she's into women, he's into women, so they both sharing, you know, the same mm-hmm. chick. I will say, though, that just being bisexual doesn't mean that they're always poly. I've definitely, I know a lot of poly. I hang with a lot of poly people. And a a situation. Well, I don't think they're poly either. It's just They're open, but sometimes people not, it'll be bisexual women, but they're not necessarily open to that specific thing. Like, we may both be attracted to women, but I don't want to fuck women with you or I don't. I'm not open to you doing that. Yeah, I'm saying what I would get. You I, don't want you want a woman that is open to other and women. bisexual yeah. and doing it with you. That's the yeah, part. Because sometimes yeah, yeah. they don't want to so do it. Yeah, so then you wouldn't even feel like you're messing around. You know, it's like she liked it. We both like this chick. We both hooking up with this chick. I've seen it that's go real time. bad. Yeah, that's, just <laughs> <laughs> that's the least toxic thing you've said. <laughs> <laughs> you never had a threesome? Hey, that's, that's growth, dog. <laughs> you, never, you never had a threesome? Yeah, I did. That shit was tiring. That shit is. It's not. It's they. They make it seem like oh, it's bigger than what it. No, it's that shit was weak. Well, oh, so so this is okay. No, not weak. I'm just saying. I'm about to say, was, I don't I know. Mean, when you're the penis, you gotta do. Yeah, you gotta do all the, all the work. Yeah. work. It's just like that seems be cool. Really, I like to delegate some of the labor. <laughs> you about to say you have to do all the work? No, I'm like I've you down the there. <laughs> <laughs> I see the boobies. <laughs> I see the movies. You have to do oh, all movies. the work. I thought you see her boobies. Oh, oh, <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like <laughs> cool. I feel like how many you had? Okay. <laughs> this Sound is like a math problem. The, the option. This is this is the point that I was getting to. The option, meaning y'all don't have to go mess around with other chicks. But if for whatever reason it's been like a year or a few months and y'all go to the club or y'all out somewhere, you like, man, we we both like, let's go have mm-hmm. some fun and get another chick tonight. Or whatever. At least the option is there. Is what mm-hmm. I'm saying. This is what I be seeing it go bad, and a lot of times it be the dude. They'll be have that. They'll be open, and the the boundaries is we do it together. Dudes will go fuck other women without telling the other part, the initial woman. Well, men ain't shit, and that's where it goes bad. It's well, like, yes, <laughs> we were open. Thank now you so you're much. cheating because that's not what we initially well, stated. That's a fact. The boundaries was. Well, yeah, you give us an inch, we take a mile. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all be getting loose. <laughs> it's loose. Which is so crazy because it's like we could we could fuck her together, but now you're going to do that. Now you've broken my trust. Boom. Communication. You only had one threesome? Oh, yeah, a few of them. I had two in my life. And um, you didn't like either one of them. No, nah, I, I like, don't get me wrong. I like the threesome, but it's over. Growing up, they said, man, you get a threesome. Man, you pop. Come on, it's different. It's the best thing, man. You know what's better than one girl? Two girls. And then you get in there, you be like, man, it's the same. It's the same pussy. It's just twice as a place, the same head. They just, I'm like, come on, man. It's just. I don't know. I'm a one woman. Sound like you was fucking some weak ass. I like one woman. I'm a one woman. I'm a one woman guy, ladies. Were they were they touching each other? Were they engaged? Yeah, they was. They were engaged. They were doing everything. They were Siamese twins. (laughs) I was just thinking about that the other day, dog. Oh, your search history, wild. (laughs) Oh yeah, he was. I was just thinking. He was. I'm glad you said it. But don't let my daughter watch anime. Not a single anime. Cause they some freaks. Meanwhile, let me get on this Siamese twin porn. Yo, I was just thinking about that though. I was like, uh, I was like, not uh, for if there's any fucking Siamese people that would ever watch this clip. But I was thinking, <laughs> like, <laughs> not a great apology. <laughs> if you watching it already, I guess if you're watching. But, but I'm like, if you're, I gotta. Uh, but if you're having sex, hey, the shot is on on me right now, Lee. Just in case you that, that camera looks off. Yeah, that's what he was just telling. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm glad. That's what he was just texting me. But uh, I'll finish my point. Y'all, y'all can continue. So yeah, threesomes be fire. I've never actually had a threesome. <laughs> you haven't? No, I just be fucking like one person. It, for I a will lot, say like, a lot of times. I like one person better. Yeah. It's just because now we here. I can do all the stuff and focus on this yeah. person and give them 
whatever I've the got undivided to attention. It's fucking dope. It's so exactly. hard to sixty nine with three people, oh, right? Too like much. <laughs> it what, doesn't even what's, work what's mathematically. Times two? Oh man! No. Don't make me do math. One thirty-eight. I'm not one of those Jews that's good at math. Okay. <laughs> that's why I do comedy. Racist. You know, what I mean? that's hilarious. You're like you're an accountant, right? Like what? <laughs> What's the... I don't even remember what I was talking about. So, you was you're the Siamese porn twin. Porn. You're nasty. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm the nasty one. <laughs> yeah, y'all won't let me forget it. Uh, I was just thinking about like, yeah, bro, like if they they have to share the dude, like they have to, and. Do one get jealous? <laughs> Ooh. Do they, okay, or where are they attached at? Is it one pussy, two heads? Are we talking, because sometimes they'll have Six two pussies, bodies one head. They... <laughs> I'm thinking, right? <laughs> the Kraken? <laughs> the Kraken. A Hydra. It's a She's Hydra. a Shiva of pussy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, usually when I've seen them... <laughs> Do they have two? Do they have two pussies? <laughs> they got that. They got that model. <laughs> they make those. That's what I'm saying. Do they make? Do she they said, make? I'm play. trying to build a bitch. I'm trying to. I need her to be bi and poly. That I need her to crazy. be <laughs> one head. Yeah. I do need a one. I do need a one head. Um... No GMOs. No GMOs. <laughs> free but, range. But I was for that. Free range. Need a free range. Bitch, <laughs> you snorted? Did you snort? <laughs> oh, I hope shit. the mic picked that up. That's oh, hey, that yeah. that we heard hey, that's like the that squirt that. of comedy. Is snorting. Snorting is yeah. the What's the hardest y'all made? Like, I've oh, I've shit. literally made someone piss before. Uh, mm. sexually or comedy? Comedy. Oh, <laughs> oh comedy. Right. Yeah, that, that was a great question. Yeah, that's everywhere. true. Yeah. Both. I mean, both. But comedy. I made somebody mm. piss. Chappelle said he made somebody shit. So mm. that's what I'm going for. When I could make someone insane. laugh so hard that they shit themselves. I haven't gotten there, but I have made a few women piss for sure. Nah, no, and that wasn't even during comedy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Talking about the shower. I, I see somebody have a heart attack. I didn't do it. I think that's the best you could at, go. At the show? At the show, yeah. The heart you said, attack. I want someone to die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chappelle kidding. said that to me. At a show, he was performing, and I was high as fuck. I had been smoking for like three hours, and I was cracking up, and I was snorting. I almost passed out. He's like, you ever just kill a bitch when you on stage? And I was like, oh, I'm the bitch. Chappelle called me the bitch. I did almost pass out. You ever just kill a bitch while you on there stage? There <laughs> No fights around here. Just killing bitches, killing stages. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Chappelle. Who's a, who's a comedian y'all met yet? Y'all met, y'all met any like the comedians y'all looked up to? And how yeah. was it? Yeah. Chappelle actually got me two headlining gigs in Ireland. He doesn't know me. And uh, oh, <laughs> it's because there were two headliners who were there to like Chappelle was there at the same time I was there. There were two people who were headlining shows that dropped out and they wanted to go see Chappelle. And so I got the gigs. So fire, fire Chappelle. Chappelle. Thank you so much. Fire. Yeah. What I'll about y'all? Tell him that story one day. For a fact. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> she was like, I'm going to say mine for last. <laughs> no, uh, it wasn't even that great. But uh, I feel like yeah. I'm nah, mine, not, nah, mine not great. Uh, Tony Roberts. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Tony, Tony Roberts. I was like, oh bro, what, what the hell? Uh, G King, my partner G King, opened like every time he goes to the bay or whatever. Tony just like show him love and shit. I was like, bro, I've been watching dudes. It's comic. Dude. Yeah, I'm he's a, a beast. Dude. A beast. That's my favorite. He's like, oh man, and then, and then we chopped it up, and I was like, bro, that shit was crazy. Let me tell you my Tony Roberts story, and it, and it's it's go it's gonna be a little bit of of a flex on my end. I'm gonna preface my talk story your shit. Nah, with talk that. Your, talk your shit. But it was also one of the things where I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. We did a casino yeah. together. Me, D-Lay, and Tony Roberts. I probably that's a would, good lineup. That's a, right. It was solid, right? I was probably maybe three to four years into doing stand-up. And I'm the host, D-Lay the feature, and Tony the headliner, right? What year was this? Maybe 2010. Okay. Maybe 2009, 2010. I want to say it was before I got married. So... <laughs> I go out and I, it's one of them nights. And like I say, when you starting off, one night you'll kill, one night you'll bomb your ass off. You just, at least for me. So it was one of them nights where I was on. I only probably did like seven minutes. And I'm talking about I kill. Got a standing ovation. That's the host. That's the host. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay. I run off stage. I see Tony Roberts back there. I run off stage. I said, yo. I said, that was that. He was like, damn, that's not good. I said, man, I just got a standing ovation. And I just seen his eyes go. Like, it got big. Mm. But I realized 
I was I was just excited, like holy shit, I got a standing ovation. I've been doing stand up three or four years. I'm like, I got a standing ovation. Yeah. But I and then after I said it, I'm thinking like he's the headliner. Mm. Like he's thinking, he's either thinking that's great, the crowd is lit, or he's thinking, damn, I have to now follow mm. and do just like it. now. Like if I don't get a standing ovation, maybe I wasn't as funny as the dude that was fucking hosting yeah. the show. Mm. And so I've never done anything like that again. But that was just something I remember that happened that night. I was like, I are never. you upset that you killed or that you were like happy about it and told him? Because there's nothing wrong with doing well. Right? Yeah, I, like, I know Tony go Tony jokes is gonna hit anyone. Yeah. Well, he still oh he killed. Yeah, he yeah, killed. Yeah. But I was just thinking like oh, as, yeah, he didn't. I was just thinking like, damn, I wonder if I made him self conscious or made him made him feel some type of some type of pressure or whatever the case. I didn't want him. I just want him to be in a good headspace. Mm -hmm. You know, whoever the headliner is. And I didn't, and I was like, I wonder if me saying that, like kind of being like, damn, like now nah, I got to go fucking kill or now nah, I got to get a standing over. I don't know. But you anyway, think he thinks about it? Absolutely not. Yeah. He's never thought about it ever yeah. in his life. Yeah. <laughs> but for me, it was a yeah, moment yeah, just because I got a standing ovation and I'm on a lineup with D-Lay yeah. and Tony Roberts, and I wasn't expecting to do that well. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, I was the host. I'm the least funniest out of the lineup, mm -hmm. you know. They end up crushing. It's they end up like, crushing. It's not always like that. It's not always like that. You know? Yeah. Y'all got any stories? I don't. Oh, no, no. Celebrity. Oh, what celebrity? I don't even have no story. Um, all the people I've met, and it's not like they're like, oh, they're huge A-list comedians, but like, I, like I said, I watch a lot of movies and TV and stuff like that. So like, I'm fans of people's work. Mm -hmm. So like, I got to meet Pat Oswalt and he signed my stuff. Right. Um, Percy Jackson was like one of my favorite movies. So when I met Brandon T. Jackson, <laughs> he saw my DVD. Hilarious conversations we had. I'm not even gonna get into that. That's a, yeah, a wild T. man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to Brandon T. He that was that was my first celebrity friend when I moved to LA. Really? It was Brandon T. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, well, I guess I could tell that story. That was cool. That was like my one of my first times like trying to open for somebody. Mm -hmm. Um, at at the well, like trying to get it. Like so before, like I would just like call the club. Um, but this one I started like getting some social media, and I saw he was coming. I was like, I wonder if I could use my fans to like get me on the show. Like, let's do a social experiment. So I had just asked my fans. I was like, Yo, can y'all just go spam? the page and see if they'll let me host and it worked like four or five hundred people were commenting on the thing like let Roxy Hayes host let Roxy Hayes host right the motherfucking club gonna let somebody else host. like I found out that they like after Brandon T. Jackson had asked them to let me host because he saw all the comments he asked them they they said they had somebody else hosting but they didn't mm -hmm. they went back and got somebody so this is why I fuck with him like super heavy he like got my number and called me. That's the fuck. He, no, he's <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, he's no, I'm joking. No, he, no, I'm joking. No, he called me. Like he, he called me. He was just like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm sorry, then I don't, but come to a guest spot. So like, ever since then, I fucked with him because you had to call me. Like, I, mm -hmm. I still ain't shit. Like, but he, love. And, he called and me. Malik and wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How to call? How to call? <laughs> And so yeah, whenever Cam Houston, I used to like come up there and get to do this sometime. I mean, it was, it was dope. Hey, what what y'all want to get out? Of? We about to get out of here soon. But what, what, what I know, I've been having a grand time. With this. Oh, Thank you so much, man. Uh, what? Oh shit! Hold on. Before I get that, not this camera. It cut off after thirty minutes. See, that's mm. how that's how well I know time. Oh wow! Like, well, I'm in there. Second time doing this, man. Yeah, Producer. Yeah. Hey, man, he does you know this? Man? Oh. Oh. Yeah, we good on your end, Lee? Yeah, we still good. Yeah, we still good. Cool. Um, what's something? Mm -hmm. Where do y'all want to see y'all career five, ten years from now? Ooh. What, like, what do y'all think y'all want to accomplish for y'all to feel like, damn, I'm, I'm doing it, or, I, or I'm like accomplishing this dream that I'm setting out to accomplish? Mm. Who we gonna start with? Yeah, anybody? Jump in. I don't huh? know. So. <laughs> I'll go. Um, I want to keep doing exactly what I'm doing. I want to work on the craft. I want to like commit myself, devote myself to stand up and uh, be able to sell out pretty much anywhere I want to go. I want to do colleges and cruises for the next few years. And then I want to move to clubs and then I want to move to theaters after that. All right. Yeah. And I also want to be like true to myself. I never want to stop speaking about Palestine. I never want to, you know, like censor what I have to say for a business opportunity. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and and you know that's actually rare that you because you didn't say TV and films. 
I mean, I have those two. Right. I think those will come in time. You know, like I've got a movie if anybody wants to hear me pitch. But um, yeah, I think, you know, I want to develop and be known. And I think, you know, just it's about like how people perceive me. Like, I think I'm I think most people have a good like sense of who I am and like me me mostly so I, I that's important to me yeah i'm trying to be donald glover like whenever i think about like where the trajectory of my, of my career i want to be donald glover because like i do do music uh i write i'm like working on some animated shows hopefully they're, they're in the process of getting picked up so All a right. lot of stuff i'm working on right now is in development so i'm excited for that uh, I do voiceover also. Do you? Yeah. Hey, we got to talk. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> no, you got a good voice. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, I am working on trying to get representation because like, I've been able to do a lot of dope shit just like by myself, like getting to these spaces, just me. Mm -hmm. So I really think like once I get representation, I'll take it to the next level. And I do want to act and I want to I want to do all of it. I want to do everything. Stand up, everything. Yeah. Fire. So I shall. Malik. <laughs> uh, shit. For me, just man, continue to keep that same drive that I have now, now in the next five to ten years. And trying to develop and trying to become a household name. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. You just had that drive because a lot of people just like get burnt out. So you yeah. saying that had that same drive that you on top, that you're not there. Like I'm gonna get there one day and then you on top. You still have that same mindset. Mm, don't do that with your hands. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank oh, you so much. Geez. Well, hold on, I was going Thanks up. for having me on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't be in there. Okay. It was a lot. It was, he, kept, he kept doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I was going up. I ain't stayed there. Oh, no. no. Oh, geez, well, you you're about to get pulled from YouTube. Oh, you done broke her earrings oh, with that shit. That's bro. me? That's yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, you. Nobody uh, even thought about that. Yeah. yeah. Like, Malik's like accountability? Like, no chance. It's not a chance. My heart. My heart. Exactly. You just scared the shit out of Roxy. You know what I'm saying? We was over here talking about something inspirational. And then he fucked it up. Now I got to redo my point. He was yeah, like, hey, yeah. Back hey, to hey, one. Back hey, to one. Back to one. <laughs> oh, my, my Are you want to be a household name? I give you one right now. Like, oh, my God. My heart. Well, hey, certain households. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> tried to cancel. He tried he to tried get to cancel. Right there, bro. A lot of beer <laughs> gardens <laughs> and stuff. A lot of sausages. He did. We know you ain't mean it like that. Oh, my God. You scared the shit out of Rocky. Because I did it too. Yeah, yeah. You didn't have to. There was no reason for you to do You didn't have to. Because yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, after he said she was like, no, no he I, did this. I said, yeah, what is he talking yeah, about? Yeah, exactly. oh. Jeez Louise. Oh God, I'm a tactile No, but thank you learner. so much for having me. It, was, it has <laughs> been a fun time. It has, man. Oh. Hey, this all this all I'm gonna say is um, hey, everything. Y'all y'all gonna that representation anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Y'all, yeah. all the all the things y'all want to achieve is gonna happen. I believe, like Thank I like you. I said, Thank I believe in y'all. You know what I'm saying? I seen y'all talent already, and I know it's a, it's it's only gonna get even better. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Like we're only gonna get better, all of us. You know, as long as we don't stop, we're yeah. only we're only gonna get stronger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So keep doing y'all thing. What up? We about to get out of here, man. What what y'all gotta say? What's y'all socials? Anything y'all got coming up? Tell the people about your shows. I know y'all got the oh Skiz got his lit comedy show. Yeah, thank y'all so much for it. We just had a, a show that sold out. Now we we do a little Skiz got his lit comedy show every other month, and then we do like events, I'm trying to build like a a community. If you do skits and your comic, just pull up. So we have our bowling event. I don't know when it's gonna come out, but March eighth at Pins, we written out Pins and just having everybody come and pull up. So and then uh, Malik B on all social media uh, platforms. All right. So, uh, Roxy Hayes on everything, R-O-X-X-Y, H-A-Z-E. Check me out on Twitch. I stream games. I'm getting back into it. So if you like weird games, check me out. Uh, I'm dropping some more music this month. So wherever you listen to music, except Tidal. I ain't on Tidal. But wherever <laughs> else you listen to music, check it out. It's Nerdcore Rap. Why I'm you just shit it on Tidal? No, I know. They just like, no, bitch, you can't be on here. I'm like, oh, it's fine. So oh. <laughs> everywhere else, you can hear my music is Nerdcore. Damn, it's nerdcore. What type rap. of music is it? Hip hop singing? What nerdcore. She said nerd. Shit. Nerd. Shit. Okay, got you. Nerdcore. So I'm it's like it I'm anime rapping and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and then also, yeah, check out all my other stuff. And if you are in the, oh, I know it's a virtual show too. I have a show coming up in a couple weeks called Adult Book Club. It's comedians reading fan fiction. I'm gonna try to have both y'all on there. Actually, okay. comedians reading fan fiction is March 9th at Reader House in LA, but it's a it's gonna be streamed too. So you can get tickets to that at RoxyHayes.com. Michael Scherzer on Instagram. You can check out the Palestine pod. Um, I'm going on. Uh, I just got accepted to the World Series of Comedy. So I'll be in Kentucky nice. in March. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm around L.A. Check for me. What's your favorite? What's your favorite song, Roxy? What's your favorite song that you got? Of 
of mine. Yeah, you want um, me to play one? I play one. You don't have play to play it. Oh God! Ah! Uh, either me and you or Goldeneye. Let's go, James Bond. Oh Let's God! Go. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. You about we to gotta, rap? You about to rap? Hey man, you about to rap that like, shit? comment, subscribe. Hey, it's your man Justin Harris, and and and, and, and mm-hmm. like, comment, subscribe. And, hey. Okay. Hey. I'm jamming with it. But you know the chorus. You gotta. Let's be singing. Yeah, I know the chorus. Hey, I fuck with it. Shut up, Justin. Shut up. Sailor Moon song. Listen, I love you, but I want to bug you, kissing and hugging. You think I'm bugging? Ain't no trouble trying to be loved. It's not like the others trying to smother under the covers. Out to be kind of wherever rubber, rubber, trying to discover one after the other. Smooth like butter, make your body shudder. You think I'm gaming you? Must be a game for two. Yeah. I say I'm over you. The yeah. soon as you follow, I'm over you. Yeah. What is a girl to do? Uh-huh. I try to punish you. Yeah. In the name of the moon, I'll be a saga you tomorrow. Uh. Shut up to the mother guys. Hey. Uh-huh. Not those other guys. No. And even when I say you not, you always say it's lies. Hey. It seem like you scared to try. Believe me, please believe me. So we can live this life real easy. Breezy sees me. Please be limited. Squeeze me. <laughs> hey, man. Roxy Hayes, man. Uh, look for her. Roxy look Hayes. Look for Roxy. We not, we not Fucking around out here, man. That Make sure y'all stream oh, thank you. Roxy Hayes. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share the clips, man. Uh, and if you've been offended by anything we said today, just remember one thing. Fuck what your you feelings. <laughs> we out.